Somebody had actually requested this. Oh, really? Explain how in the Explain world. Explain how in the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the Super Bowl. I did and didn't. Um, but since we're talking about Super Bowl, I thought we'd go back to, you know, Super Bowl star from yonder named John Elway. So, I don't know if you saw, but like, everyone knows the history. Well, most of you do. You know, we know that uh, he was playing without an ACL. How the heck did he do that? I didn't swear, I didn't swear, no bleeps. So, uh, so basically, John Elway had an ACL tear and his uh, doctors and surgeons says, miraculously, we don't know how it happened, he's great to go on the field. Now, think about this. John Elway, upcoming star, football player, and he ha doesn't have an ACL, and the doctor says he miraculously got better and is okay to play. You know, I think that's great for the game. It was great for John Elway. I think he had a stellar career. I think it's awesome that he played, but I think there was some bias there. You know, if that was anyone else, that player would not have been on the field. If we had the combines the way we have them now, that player would not have been on the field. Sorry, John, but you would not have survived the combines today. However, you did amazing because you're a superstar. Now, how did he do that? You don't have an ACL, so you have all the instability. You can look up all my prior uh, videos about ACL injuries and the instability and all the fancy dislocations that I've uh, shown you, like magic. And kind of like Elway's uh, knee. It's not bionic, okay? There's a report out there that caused, caused calls, 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 oh, calls John Elway's knee bionic. Bionic is a useless term, okay? Don't use it, nothing's bionic right now, okay? Even when we have biotech, it'll be far from, anything's far from bionic right now. Anyway, clickbait, yeah, yeah, it was clickbait. All right, fine, but there's a lot of people that can play without an ACL. They can play sports, they can function. However, can you play pro Super Bowl, pro NFL, pro level football without an ACL. Well, apparently you can, but currently with the amount of training, rigor and requirements needed, I doubt someone even with John Elway's abilities from the 80s could play in NFL today. You can quote me on that. Ha. So, if you can't prove me wrong, you can't say anything, right? Right. You mean they can leave comments below? So, so what happens when you lose your ACL? So we talked about our knee, right? Okay, so you lose your, this actually, we brought the wrong model, but anyway, let's cut open the knee. Doesn't open. So basically what happens, you have a varus moment, flexion, it could also be extension or hyperflexion, and you end up with an anterior translation of your tibia relative to the femur with some rotation, and that results in a tear in your ACL. So every time you buckle and pivot, your knee goes out on you. However, here's the catch. Everyone saw that you always kind of had a bit of a limp, right? But it turned out that the knee with the ACL injury was his non-pivot leg. So it wasn't the leg that he planted on when he went to throw. So that was one saving grace. The other is he's a super athlete, superstar. He probably had incredible muscle conditioning, strength, balance, proprioception. And even with a loose joint, he was able to accommodate all that because he probably had a tear from before and learned how to accommodate with the tear, right? Just like we all could, because we're all superstars. Just like, well, I don't know about you, Certainly not me. I'm not a superstar. Well, not a superstar athlete anyway. Back to reality. So when we're talking about uh, the ACL, what happens with an ACL tear? And we see this all the time. 
I've got a good buddy of mine. He found out he had an ACL tear that was chronic and he always wondered why he, his knee hyperextended and buckled and gave out. And he lasted cycling, rollerblading, lo- entire career, not in pro sports, but as a recreational athlete without an ACL. And we see this in the clinic all the time. We see it in sports uh, athletes uh, regularly and certainly in the non-athlete it's it's not uncommon you have an injury and you can survive without an ACL what happens in those situations scar tissue proprioception balance muscle kinematics joint repositioning now what is joint repositioning so a lot of data out by a number of uh, performance labs out there looking at knees without ACLs Calgary Performance Lab Denver Knee Performance Lab Uh, Vancouver Performance Lab, Stanford uh, Performance Lab. So there's a lot of data on the knee, okay? And so what happens is that when you lose your ACL, the overall alignment of the femur condyles on the tibia condyles is slightly offset, a little bit posterior in certain positions, posterior just a little back. So what happens is they're sitting a little differently. Now, if your body gets used to that and you form some scar tissue adherent around that, oftentimes related to adhesions that come across the lateral and medial sides and in the anterior interval area that prevents that subluxation. So you could technically form scar tissue to stiffen your knee to prevent the instability. Got it? Okay. So it's kind of like having extra fibrous tissue, extra bands like Gore-Tex, kind of holding your knee from subluxing. So could that have been a reason? Well, we don't know. You know, would an MRI have showed that? Maybe. An arthroscopy would have shown that. You would have shown excess scar tissue. And over the years, we've learned that uh, oftentimes in patients, you go in, they ha- may have what's called um, an interval strictures and fibrous bands collaterals and um, plica that all form and it's just extra synovial scar tissue that forms around through the anterior interval in that area forms scar tissue. It doesn't mean that the ACL heals, it just means you get a big honking ball of scar tissue around the knee that prevents the subluxation. Now it doesn't happen to everyone. Some people still have a loose knee, a trick knee as it were, they can go in and out with it but it's not symptomatic enough that they can't play because their knee accommodates for it, their hamstrings accommodate for it, their quadriceps accommodate for it, and they may have really good intrinsic muscles in the knee to accommodate for that subluxation. So what does all that mean? Elway's a superstar. He did phenomenally well without an ACL. Could you or I have done that? Probably not. Could someone like Mahomes or Brady do that? Probably. I mean, we don't know. I don't recommend you go do anything to his ACL, um, but or ho- we certainly hope that he doesn't rupture his ACL, God forbid. But they're the kind of superstar athletes that could probably make it work. Now, the only challenge is they're already seasoned players. Well, Brady certainly is. Mahomes is younger, but... Once you're seasoned into the pro game, then it's a matter of, well, you're already used to your knee kinematics. So say we were to take a young player, say we were to take someone young, upcoming quarterback, superstar, and then say he had an ACL injury, or say he had a chronic ACL injury and found out later in the combines, or even, you know, subsequent to that, he could have accommodated for his knee by learning how to balance and shift his overall kinematic strength proprioception to accommodate for the instability, then it's possible. Not bionic, just superstar athlete.